to this edition of Tony G Psychic Medium. I'm so happy you could join us today. I've been a psychic medium for as long as I can remember. I've been able to help people by giving them messages, helping them on their life path, and also helping them connect with loved ones on the other side. Today, I have a very special guest. Her name is Marissa, and she's going to be getting a reading today, asking me all kinds of questions, maybe making a connection or two. So hi, Marissa. Thank you so much for being a guest today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. My pleasure. You look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> so Marissa, do you want to start with a question? Um, actually, yes. So recently I've been feeling a male figure around me. Um, and I'm kind of wondering if he's here, yeah. what his intentions are. So I wanted to tell you, while we were waiting and the music was cueing, I saw this gentleman walk towards you. Now, I want to be honest, I'm only seeing his hair, like, and the side of him. I'm not seeing his face. Okay. So he has, like, very dark hair. He wore denim, and it looks like he has on a, um, like, one of those button-up baseball type jackets uh, anyway so he's standing to your right and he's uh, kind of looking at you and if I had to uh, if I had to guess I would say he's a little um, he's not and rem let's remember I can't see his face mm -hmm. so it's tough to say his age but I have a feeling he's he's not older okay um, his hair is a little bit longer. It's a style that we would have seen possibly in the 70s or 80s, not so much today. You know, that one inch out, combed back type of look. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is funny because before that came out of my mouth, I would have never guessed I would have been making that statement. <laughs> and he is a, I want to say, I feel like he was a, I want to say a friend. He was he was a friend, or and or a friend of the family, and he keeps referencing an uncle. So either he was a friend of the family or an uncle, and again not showing his face. But I I feel like uh, he's a, a definite medium build, not anybody who is overweight or too skinny, mm -hmm. and he has a lot of. Um, His skin is a little olive. His skin is a little olive color with his dark features. So that would lead me to believe he, he had some ethnicity about him. I don't think he was Caucasian completely because now he's turning and looking. And I, I keep hearing a, a family, friend, uncle. So either a friend of an uncle or family friend I feel like I'm hearing the name Tony a lot. That could just be because he's trying to get my attention. <laughs> <laughs> but it could also be because uh, that could have been his name or the name of the person he knew. Um, I feel like whoever this was, he did know you. He's getting ready to transition. I'm asking him questions right now. Did somebody... And when I say recently, I mean, he didn't recently pass. He passed a while back. Are you having any idea of who this might be? Now, I keep hearing friend, 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 friend. And I do feel like he is transitioning to another level, but I feel like he came in to help you transition. There are going to be some transitions coming in in your life. Okay. And he has come in to help you make some of these transitions. There, he is saying, again, oh, these aren't going to be the easiest transitions. And I am sorry that I'm laughing at that because I should, I should be like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not <Yeah>, worried. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't even say it with a straight face. I'm so sorry. Um, 
the transitions that are coming in for you, you're going to have a lot of guidance. A lot of people are coming in that normally wouldn't be there for you. Uh, and they're more of a masculine energy. So some of them might be females, but they definitely have that strong, let's get in and get to work, dig our heels in. I feel like a grandmother and a great grandmother are coming down holding hands together and they're going to be helping out too. Now, if this isn't your direct grandmother, it's your great grandmother and her mother, but it's definitely a mother-daughter team. They're coming in and they're saying, we're gonna get this done, we're gonna get through this. You're gonna feel like it's a lot harder than it's going to be. The shifts that are coming in your life, some of them are spiritual, right? Mm -hmm. And then others are, are of on, the, on the physical plane. They're saying they're more physical, they're on the physical plane. You're going to have to deal with a lot of <coughs> cynicism for what that's worth. The changes that are coming in, everybody's going to have an opinion about it. Just do what's best for you. Don't buy into anything anyone else says. Just follow through with what's best for you and what's in your heart, okay? Now, can you tell me anything? Is that relationship-wise? Is that... It's, a, okay, so some of these are definitely spiritual. Okay. So you are definitely going to be going up a level or two with your spirituality or what I like to call evolving. Okay. Uh, this means some knowings are going to open up to you. Another way of saying this is you're going to have a greater understanding when all of this is done. Some of the judgments you've been held, holding on to for a very long time are going to fade away and you are going to have more understanding and compassion for past experiences. Part of the reason this, these new experiences are going to be coming in is because it's time for you to evolve past these past judgments, to let go of some of this stuff from the past. Sometimes the best way to do that is to go through the experience and go, okay, I get it now. I really get how this happened in the past and how it could be. Right, okay. happening to me. I feel like you're going to come out of this shining. You're going to be much stronger than you were before. That's good to know. <laughs> this does have to do with relationship, but it also has to do with work. It's kind of a odd sort of triangle, if I will. So, okay. whatever that's worth, whatever <laughs> that means, right? <laughs> Um, and if I told you, if they told me, I would tell you because I can't keep a secret. They learned that early on <laughs> with me. <laughs> they totally learned that early on with me. But, and then you would try to prepare for it and, and say, okay, I'm going to do this and it won't happen. And, and it still would, but it would change the balance of it. Um, I feel like you're going to be meeting some new people. And these new people are going to have a very interesting effect upon your life. You're going to see things in a way that you've never seen them before. And get ready, baby girl, because your heart's about to open in a way you never thought it could. Interesting. I know, I'm leaving you with so many more questions. I know, <laughs> I know, because the last time we talked, that's kind of what I had preface this on. Yeah. Well, I think, so kind of going back to the first question that I asked, I kind of, I've been having a lot of dreams about my great uncle Charlie, and that's kind of who I thought had been around, but I, it's kind of on and off with him, but sometimes I'll have dreams about him, and then a couple weeks will go by and nothing. So that's kind of who I was. So I want you to know that he has been around and he is, the reason that you're dreaming about him is because he is coming into your dreams and communicating with you. Whenever we have a dream about someone who has passed, they're always making their presence known to us. They're bringing us messages. Even if we don't remember those messages in the morning, they are definitely bringing us those messages. They're also, um, 
helping us through a transitional stage, whatever that stage is, personal, physical, emotional, whatever it is, they're helping us through it, okay? That makes uh, sense. Yeah, and he, he, uh, he is going to keep coming around also. You're going to have a lot of masculine energy around you over the next six weeks. A lot of loved ones from the other side that are definitely coming in and giving you strength and messages. These messages, everybody thinks a message has to be something that we hear clearly from the outside. That's not even how my messages work. I don't, it's not like you talking to me. Their messages come through in a frequency that turn into to words in our head or a thought in our head or a sign or a symbol. Now signs and symbols can also be things that we see around us, an article that we read, uh, a, a sign that we see in a store okay. that kind of um, will, will give you like a little like, oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and so many times, I cannot tell you how many times, and do never underestimate the power of a license plate answer. Because <laughs> 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 people have these vanity plates now. Right, yeah. and so many times I've been driving down the freeway thinking of something and I'll see a vanity plate that is the answer to something I was just questioning and I'm like, thanks. Uh, so I cannot even begin to stress the power of a vanity plate answer. <laughs> Pay attention. Um, and, and it's amazing how your angels and guides will work to get you the information you need. I see that in the next month, but it's going to start within a week, you're looking over a lot of papers. Some of these papers are papers you receive in the mail, and they have something to do with what's going to be going on. Now, when I see something like this, I say, look at your credit card bills very carefully. Oh, I'm crazy about that. <laughs> and understand where all the charges are and what they are. I see something going on with this. Okay. So very carefully look them over. Make sure that you purchased all the purchases from Victoria's Secret or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that that's what it is, just <laughs> 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 because sometimes we shop someplace often and we go, oh yeah, I must have. Mm -hmm. But, you know, match the dates with your receipts if you can. Over the next month, I see you just looking over everything very carefully and something sticks out to you and you go, hey, wait a minute, what is this? And you, in, you should investigate it a little further. Don't just take it on. That must have been me, I must have forgotten. Okay. Um, <clears throat> within six weeks, I feel like so many things in your life will have changed you are going to have a greater understanding of so much that's going on around you. There are some things that you're really questioning, and you've been questioning them for about three or four months at least, I want to say. You, uh, you know, when we ask, <laughs> we get the answers. <laughs> so what I'm going to say is, these answers are getting ready to come to you. They give us the answers when we can handle them, not when we want them all the time. You're also going to see something that makes you understand, oh, okay, so what exactly does this mean? And from there, you have to make the decisions about what's best for you and what direction you want to go, okay? Okay. That was a really long answer for a dream about Uncle Charlie, I right? Know, I know. Well, I know. I don't want to get off topic, but the, one of the dreams that I had was he was saying that there was going to be something coming in the mail for me. And I was like, that's kind of weird. And the oh. following week was my birthday, and my grandma actually sent me an old, um, <coughs> an old card that he had saved from my birth announcement. And oh. it was so weird. I was like, oh, that's so weird. See, how can people doubt? 
How can people tell? That's amazing. I know. That's I called so my beautiful. grandma, and my grandma almost like she was like, "I have no idea." She was like, "Something was just telling me to go through my old stuff," and I was like, "That's so weird." Well, I get the goosebumps even talking I about do, it. I yeah, it's so weird. It's such a confirmation. <laughs> yeah. Goosebumps are always a confirmation. So I want to say thank you for sharing that because so many people make light of these situations. They yeah. don't take them seriously. And that is such a confirmation that not only, you know, we don't just disappear when we leave this physical body. We're around. We are helping. We are giving messages. Oh, yeah. We are influencing in some way those that are still here. And we always want to influence them for the absolute best for everyone who is concerned, everybody involved and everybody concerned. Right. It's it almost felt like validation, you know, like you're not crazy for having these dreams. Because that's what I thought. I was like, that's yeah. kind of weird. No, so. <laughs> absolutely not. And they communicate with you a great deal through your dreams. And also I'm seeing through signs. They communicate a great deal both ways for you. And I, I, I don't mean to go off topic no, again, but there's some travel coming up for you that's going to be extremely exciting better be. <laughs> I can't wait to hear about this travel. It's going to come out of the blue like a whirlwind. Take it. Whatever opportunity comes up, jump on it and go. It is going to be very exciting and life-changing for you in some ways. That's interesting because that's kind of what I was thinking because I'm going to Minnesota in two, week two weekends and it was kind of just like a spur of the moment travel plan. It was just there's another one other than that coming up oh. too. So there's another one. I feel like this one involves, I'm seeing two things and I'm guessing both of these would have to be involved. I'm seeing a plane and a boat. Hmm. Yay. <laughs> yeah, so the plan for that might be now, but the travel for that might be a little bit later. Okay. But it's going to be very spur of the moment. Hey, look at this. Let's all go do it. And then it's done. And it's awesome. So I'm sorry. I had to put that, tell you that. So let's talk a little bit more about your dreams. Did you have another question about that? I don't think so. Okay. I think that was kind of it, but that's why I originally was asking about my Uncle Charlie. And so. there, there is more, there is more, you're going to be receiving a lot more information and a lot more validation. When I first started talking, they said, you're about to make a spiritual um, transition. All of these validations and all of the information you're about to receive is to help you. Sometimes, um, Oh, I don't want to say that. Okay. You're going to be losing your anchor so your boat can go. That's the best analogy they can give me, okay? Okay. What's your next question? I don't really like that one. <laughs> I know. I don't want to say it either. <laughs> I, did, I totally didn't want to say that because I think we're both thinking the same thing about that. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be that. You know, it's so many times I'll give a message and I'll think it's one thing. The person will think it's another thing, but then it ends up being this totally other thing. Right, yeah. Right? Sometimes the anchor to our boat setting sail for our spirituality is a belief or a fear. So that could be it too. Yeah, I like that. I like your optimism. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think I know exactly what you're saying, and I think you do too. <laughs> I kind of think I do too, but that's, that's, you know what, whatever it is, yeah, it's always for your highest good and it's always to help you here. They really do want us to be very happy. They want us to be filled with joy and love and happiness. So, all right. <laughs> and if there's something in our life that isn't on cue with that, they'll help us to get it on cue or get us in a place where we can be. Okay. okay. That makes sense. All right, my next question is a lot of people lately I've been noticing that they've been talking about like who they were in past lives. So it kind of got me curious to see if you're able to tell me if I, what I was in my past life, if that at all kind of relates to who I am now. Yeah, so, okay, so 
two things instantly come up. And the first thing is that in one of your past lives, you were a musician. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and so many times in a past life when we've done something, we come in the next life and sometimes we carry it over and other times we're like, oh, I never want to do that again. Mm -hmm. And we come in and for the life of us, we can't play music. But I feel like you were a violinist, but a very, very prominent violinist. And you had... As a child, you were even playing in front of people hmm. as a violinist. And you had a very prominent um, family and career. It, 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 you were always on stage, and you never felt like you could be uh, a child or play or just do what other people wanted. You were always in the forefront, and you... Your family was very prominent, but they had very high standards for you. Okay. And one of the things in coming in was you never wanted to be put in that situation again, uh, where you felt that much pressure on you, Okay. especially from such an early age. But in the end, you loved it. You were, looked back on it and were happy for it, Okay. but still did not want to repeat it. <laughs> uh, so... Um, and then the other thing I'm getting, and I'm not getting this very clearly, so I might not be able to give you as many details on this, but I get that you were some sort of, um, for what it's worth, like a princess, and I'm seeing, I know, right? I love our princess lives. I'm seeing the sheer um, pants, to, or scarf type hmm. okay. garb, yep, and the uh, uh, the face things, you know where they almost like a veil. Yeah, but sheer and uh, like with the little coins on it. Oh, like, would that be like Egyptian? I don't know. It could be, or it could be. Um, I get a very strong like. I don't know where belly dancing. Uh, came from, but I get a very strong vibe, like that sort of feel to it, but not. I just feel like wherever you were a princess, there was a lot of dancing with veils and these outfits, and you would sit and watch um, all of this dancing, like like Arabian Nights sort of okay. thing I'm hearing, like an Arabian Nights and the big swords and a lot mm -hmm. of this going on. So I feel like that was from what I'm seeing, you know, the big pillows when they sat on the big pillows or, yeah. and um, you were entertained by your um, people. Okay. Often. So, oh. yes. And bored. And bored. <laughs> and bored. Very <laughs> <laughs> that does sound boring. <laughs> you just wanted to travel. You wanted to get out. And so there's two lives where you were very constricted and just wanted to break free and be out and to, to have your say and do what you want. Okay. And you couldn't in either of those lives. So do you find yourself in this life always feeling like I am going to have, I want to break free, I need to get out, I need to go? I have that, but I don't. <laughs> isn't that, isn't yeah. that yeah, yeah, yeah? Like I feel like I have a lot of fears about things, so I just don't do a lot of what I'd like to do. Well, that's about to change. Oh boy, it is. You are going to be doing a lot of things you never thought you would have done before. I'm going to put this on the calendar six weeks out. <laughs> yes. I feel like especially a lot of it starts at that four, approximately that four week mark. Okay. So really something comes into your life that just makes you go, what? Maybe another dog? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's probably not that. <laughs> but I do feel like it's something that does genuinely open up your heart and helps you to see the world in another way from okay. another point of view. So what's your next question mm, or topic? It's a lot of things to think it's, about. I know, right? All right, so we'll go down the relationship path. 
but my thing is, do you think that I'm going to be with the person that I'm with long term? Do you think that if I were, would we have children, kind of what that would look like? Okay. This is definitely your choice. You're the one who's going to have the opportunity to decide if you want to be with this person or not long term. I do feel like you are going to have children. And I do feel like you are going to be making choices that will determine that. Have I sufficiently avoided answering that question? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so when, when you ask, I'm going to be, I'm just going to say it. Um, I'm not the boss. I, I, no matter what I say here, you're free to go and do whatever it is that you choose to do in any way you want. Um, there is the possibility that you will not be in the relationship you're in within a year's time. There is a possibility of that. Again, I'm not in control of what happens, of other people's contracts or life plans or what choices they make. You can try to make it work longer. The longer you try to make this work, the more your anxiety is going to kick in. And I'm really fighting these words coming out of my mouth, and this is when I'm channeling, and they're just putting it out there for you. <laughs> um, so, but here's what I'm gonna say. Anybody can change at any time and point, but somebody on the other side is just asking, they're, they're making this statement. You keep saying you want more and different. So, how can we do that for you? I don't like that answer. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. You never like the answers that you don't want. I know, Marissa, it has, on that happy note, <laughs> right? <laughs> on that very happy note, it has been such an honor and a privilege to be able to read for you today. It's just been the most amazing reading I've given so far, I think. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming here and sharing. I'm so grateful for that. Yeah. And I want to thank you for joining us today, uh, me, Tony Green. If you'd like more information on me, you can go to my website, Tony, T-O-N-I-G, dot info. You can also connect with me on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, or YouTube. I have a radio show every Monday at noon Central Time, 1 p.m. Eastern, and um, I'm sure there are many other ways you can connect with me. So thank you so much for watching and thank you, Marissa, for being such an amazing, amazing guest. I will be back next month with another episode of Tony G Psychic Medium. Thanks and have an amazing rest of the week.